Okay, welcome to part three of the Bookmap educational course. Uh, today we're going to look at the practical applications over the last uh, uh, two sessions, part one and part two. Uh, so we looked at uh, part one, the um, uh, basic mechanics of the market, which is essential to understand. Uh, and then uh, part two was looking at structure uh, and then how those basic mechanics uh, function within uh, a structure, uh, a price structure. Uh, and today we're going to start to apply um, uh, strategies and uh, and setups uh, within those uh, those structures uh, that that we uh, had studied, and uh, understanding the order flow uh, and reading that and, uh, and putting that together with the setup and strategy. Okay, so risk disclaimer: um, trading futures. Uh, and equities involve substantial risk of loss is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. More information, go to bookmap.com, uh, become a member there, and have uh, access to the free resources. And you can reach out to us at support at veloxpro.com or support at bookmap.com. Okay. Okay, uh, so let me show you where uh, you can find a book map. Okay, it's under the bookmap.com uh, under pricing, uh, and uh, you get a 14-day trial period. Uh, so um, uh, the uh, there's two different versions. There's the basic and the advanced uh, that you can see here, and then uh, this is uh, basic and advanced as well. But this is including the DX feed, and the DX feed is for equities. Right, so you can get the DX feed uh, for basic or advanced one as well. Uh, however, you're, if you're new to Bookmap and you trade equities, then maybe you want to go with the uh, the package deal here. Okay, you get it, you save a little bit of money. Uh, for all of them, you get a 14-day trial period, so you get to check it out and see if this is something that works for you. Uh, the advanced version has these uh, extra add-ons. This is something that uh, we're going to cover uh, uh, in the next um, uh, series, uh, part part four. Okay, uh, looking at, um, at different correlations, right? Okay, the um, if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, you'll get the uh, most updated information uh, when uh, videos and uh, webinars are uploaded, uh, and then um, uh, the Twitter feed as well, uh, and a lot of other news uh, and uh, information uh, you can see. So um, uh, anyway, that's um, uh, our Twitter. Uh, and uh, where you can find Bookmap. Uh, today's goals, okay, we're going to arrive at, at the auction uh, and we're going to um, go through the, uh, uh, the structural content uh, that, uh, that we need to do. Okay, we need to look at the macro view. We need to look at the microstructure uh, and the order flow uh, and in the order book. And uh, we need to understand the context of this. This is a really important part. Okay. And then we're going to look at applying the strategy and the setup uh, within these contextual details. Okay. And then um, we'll go through some training exercises at the, at the very end. All right. So we arrived to the auction. Okay. Um, the, uh, the macro view, the higher time frame analysis is what's needed. Uh, we'll look at the daily, a daily structure within that higher time frame and the microstructure, uh, drilling down, okay, giving that context uh, to the structure and then finally to the order flow within that structure. Okay, and then in the order flow, we're going to read the auction. Uh, we're going to analyze the participants and the behavior of their, uh, um, uh, or <laughs> understand the, the um, uh, behavior of these participants and their context. Uh, and then uh, we're going to read the tape. The transactions. Okay, that's going to be a complete picture of the order book and order flow, uh, and then we're going to apply a setup uh, and uh, and look for that, uh, and then optimize that trading execution within that setup. Okay, because we have all the information, we have the order flow in front of us, and we're going to utilize that to our advantage. All right, macro view, the bigger picture analysis. Use any method you prefer; it doesn't matter. Okay, maybe you're looking at fundamentals, uh, or maybe you're looking at market or volume profile, different structure and indicators. Uh, perhaps it's the um, open, high, low, close, or pivots, swings, trend lines, candlesticks, and a host of um, indicators. It, it just doesn't matter. Whatever works for you. Mark up your higher time frame levels, though. Okay, and you can use the uh, book map uh, column, notes column, uh, if you if you need. 
All right. Uh, and um, uh, yeah, Francisco, does it, it does not matter. Well, what I'm trying to uh, point out here is with your macro view, it's the way that you trade. Okay. Uh, whatever works for you, uh, just make sure you have your levels. That's what's important here. Uh, and then, um, uh, then we're going to, you know, look at the structure, microstructure, and the order flow within your macro levels. Okay, and this is the same process that most of the order flow traders uh, use out there. Okay, and maybe they won't look at the, the the real macro picture, but they will be looking at structural levels for sure. Uh, all the price ladder traders and scalpers as well. All right, you just have a, a much higher probability of that trade working out. Okay, so we're going to choose a simple method only for this demo. Okay, you will use your own method for your analyzing your higher time frames, uh, and um, uh, we need to choose something. So we're just going to uh, 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 choose simple horizontal and diagonal lines, acting as support and resistance, and uh, look at this in, in kind of a fractal uh, uh, position here uh, between higher and, and lower time frames. Okay. Okay, so macro view here, this is a daily chart. Uh, this is the day we're going to look at here. I just uh, picked it out because, uh, you know, here are our horizontal levels, okay? And uh, we, uh, we've we been covering the structure and breakouts and uh, uh, price and acceptance. And we got one here uh, and we got another one here. Now I'm looking for pullbacks to where we broke from. And you can see there's already in one, two, and then uh, this day is going to be the third. And this is the area we're going to uh, take a look at here. Okay. We also have, we're in an uptrend. Okay. I don't want to spend a lot of time on these, uh, but uh, just point out uh, to, to mark up your levels. Okay. So here's within the daily structure. Here's our day here. As you can see, I've outlined it with the um, rectangle. Uh, and I also have another trend line that I put in here. Okay. And we're coming down and we're testing not only that trend line, uh, but we have a, other confluence here of where we broke from previously. And you see a lot of uh, an initi initiated buying to the upside here. Okay. I also put in some other lines here in this 30 minute chart, uh, just uh, some swings that I'm looking at here. Okay. And then finally, here's that day again, right? And um, uh, looking at um, a little bit more uh, analysis on a five minute chart. Okay, and I just have a swing here uh, that I'm interested in because we see time and acceptance. And this is all overnight, but then here is our cash open. Okay, and we also have a trend line here. Okay, so uh, uh, the other lines were, were already on that 30-minute chart. Okay, so these are our levels, uh, our higher time frame levels. We around this uh, 2417, uh, 2422, uh, and up to uh, uh, 2426. Okay, now let's take a look at the structure in bookmap. Okay, higher time frame levels mapped out uh, in the bookmap notes. Uh, and then um, uh, that overall structure in bookmap, let's start to mark it up. Okay, what kind of um, environment are we in? Trending or ranging? Okay, All right, so uh, here are our higher time frame notes column here. Here's our higher time frame low that we're looking at around this uh, 2417. It's actually 2417, and a half. Uh, and then our five-minute swing that we uh, recognized was uh, 24.22. And then the overnight swing was way up here at um, the uh, 24.25. Okay. So uh, those are our areas of interest. Now let's take a look at the structure here. Okay. Here's our, our 9.30 open. And um, just uh, getting a, a feel for what's going on out there. We're not reading the order flow yet. We're reading the... Um, uh, the, the structure, and then uh, we're going to start to uh, piece together the order flow within that structure. Okay, So um, bashing around back and forth, as you can see here, uh, we do make a new low here, as you can see, uh, into higher liquidity that's on the bid. Uh, and then uh, we come back up and test the swing high, where you can see there is some absorption here with higher liquidity that jumped into the book. Okay, Higher yet is still this 24.25 where the high liquidity really is. Okay, so now we have another uh, insight to this area. Okay, so um, uh, we are definitely uh, range bound here, uh, but we're bashing back and forth and taking liquidity and stopping people out at some of these areas. Okay, any of the weak uh, shorts here uh, would probably be uh, placing their uh, their stops up in this area. Uh, they pull this liquidity. Uh, and uh, we come up into the higher area at 24.25 and immediately uh, uh, drop right back down into the range.
Okay, so identifying some of the structure that we were looking at um, uh, uh, last couple of um, uh, sessions, uh, we can see the um, uh, order flow and our order book and balance in some of these areas here. Look how uh, as we trade back down into the range, uh, they stack the book on the offer with very aggressive limit orders pressing price down. Okay, we do get a rebound here. Uh, and then uh, and we see continuation to the downside and they jump yet in again with very aggressive limit orders here on the offer. They're lowering their high liquidity here uh, on the offer. Okay, where do we go? We test some of that um, uh, area down here where they're starting to jump into the book, okay, but they pull, so they don't really have intent to trade here. Uh, and then we can see a trend line here. Okay, so we have a, a downward trend within this range that we're looking at. So where are we going? Uh, we're going down to test this high liquidity here uh, at 24.18. Okay, so not only do we test it, uh, we trade through it. Okay, and we can see that uh, they're offering higher liquidity here uh, at, um, at 17 and a quarter. Uh, some of that trade, some of it is pulled and we come down into our higher time frame level. And this is what's key. Okay. So now uh, we're start to, starting to identify a few of the things in the structure. Okay. So the weak uh, shorts, well, they're, they're, they're already out of the market here. Okay. So um, uh, the, um, uh, and then we have a trap here. Uh, we have a swing uh, in the cash session. Maybe people are selling the breakdown here, but we're coming right into a um, high time frame level here. Okay, so uh, let's continue on here. Uh, the um, uh, the microstructure, the historical uh, order flow analysis. Um, so uh, you might need to um, adjust the contrast levels up here uh, and uh, to understand the um, uh, uh, larger players uh, in those previous auctions. Okay, we want to identify that longer term liquidity uh, and uh, the overall behavior and the context. Okay, uh, SJ, we'll get we'll get to that uh, area here in just a minute, um, and then uh, and then the transactions. Okay, where where are they taking place here? Okay, within this microstructure. Okay, and uh, well, what we have here uh, is it's actually looking pretty good uh, for continuation to the downside in this area. Okay, so um, uh, and why do I say that? Well, I mean we broke this uh, low here. Okay, this swing low. Uh, but on this time frame, uh, it just looks uh, uh, like it's a, a, a pretty pretty weak. Okay, we have the the trend continuation to the downside. Uh, we broke this uh, swing at um, 2418, uh, and uh, and then we're we're uh, we have a confluence here. We have our, our trend line as well as the um, horizontal line. Okay, so it's looking pretty good, right, uh, for continuation to the downside. Uh, but um, Okay, we already went through that. All right, so the um, uh, and then and then we can see the high high liquidity starts to jump in here on the offer. Okay, we get a pullback to where we broke from here. Okay, so uh, it, it's actually um, it, you know although we do we did knock out some of the stops up here uh, and we uh, and we do have the breakdown here. I mean it's it's kind of you know, it's it's kind of both ways, but there is it does look like it's it wants to continue to the downside, okay? But uh, let's let's start to look at this though and break it down, all right? So our structure broken up here, okay, and also down here, uh, and then our higher time frame level trap, all right? That's what we're looking at here. That in our higher that uh, uh, level we we marked out, all right? Uh, and then um, uh, our longer term liquidity, okay? We we trade through this these areas here. Okay. Now we also note that we get into our level here, and we don't see a lot of uh, aggressive selling. Okay, so there's just very little on this little tip right here. All right, so we're starting to get uh, maybe uh, a, a little bit different picture. It's kind of going both ways here. Okay, um, the um, uh, volume analysis. Uh, you know, look at our our profile. Well, we want to see. Although we see some big uh, uh, dots down here, uh, the the profile is uh, is is also giving us some insight here. Okay, to uh, uh, it, um, uh, there's not a lot of trading down below yet. Okay, all right. But on the other hand, the, the technical levels look good, and that potential for that book flip. All right. So we'll continue on here. And what what happens? 
All right, well, we actually get a break of the structure. We trade right back into the range, uh, and, uh, and you can see there's some, uh, some buying that uh, starts to pop into the book here, okay, or into the, uh, into the volume uh, profile of, of the range here. Okay, let's zoom into that area, and this is what it looks like. Okay, so now we have that structure broken, and, and um, uh, now it's, uh, it's actually, you know, due to our higher time frame and higher um, uh, su supply and, um, uh, uh, or our demand and balance uh, at that higher time frame, we are still in that uptrend, okay? Uh, we can start to uh, piece together some of this activity here, okay? Uh, and um, uh, what's going on, all right? So now the picture looks a lot different. Okay. We have exhaustion in some of these little, this little area down here. Okay. They're starting to bid higher, okay. as we can see here uh, in the book. This liquidity is telling us something. We still have our volume analysis here. Okay. And then uh, now this structure is, uh, is broken here, both of them. Okay. We, we trade back into the range. Uh, and um, uh, the uh, uh, initiated, initiated buying uh, sweeps the book. Okay. Here's our sweep right here. It's actually a, a micro uh, structural sweep down here as well, and there will be a micro structural trend here, uh, as you, you, you could probably uh, uh, visualize. Uh, but um, uh, this is what what is key because we're breaking that the bigger structure here, okay, uh, and uh, and trading up into uh, this uh, 2419 level, okay. So uh, now uh, let's uh, let's take a look at a, a reversal strategy uh, and the setup in the context, okay. We're at a higher time frame level. Okay, our microstructure has been broken. Okay, these are, are key uh, to, to understand in that context. Okay, our, what's our liquidity context? Well, we had exhaustion. We have higher bids, uh, and they're pulling the offers too. Okay, so let's uh, go back and review here. So this liquidity was like a spoof. Okay, uh, they uh, they they were uh, showing high liquidity in here, and it was looking like it was a, a pretty good uh, move to the downside. All right, but um, uh, they pull that liquidity as uh, as price comes up and, and trades uh, beyond it. Okay, so they had no intent to trade. All right, what about the volume? Uh, we, we covered the volume profile, uh, and then uh, we see, we also see steady initiated buy volume uh, that um, above the broken structure uh, in that book sweep. Okay. And uh, that is this volume here. Okay. All right. So let's uh, now uh, we're we're um, starting to eye uh, this reversal here, uh, and starting to think about uh, execution. Okay. So identifying targets of high liquidity. Uh, consider front running that high liquidity because we can see it right there in book map in the book. Uh, so. Um, uh, maybe front run it by a tick or two, uh, and um, uh, consider taking partial uh, profits at that um, uh, area of high liquidity, okay? Uh, and then maybe moving your stop up, okay? On your entry, uh, well, in the context of the move, we're, we're looking for a pullback uh, to where price broke from, okay? Uh, now, uh, it, what also occurs if you get a, a, a you know an aggressive move up out of that area, uh, then uh, your entry is going to have to be uh, more aggressive as well. So maybe uh, consider entering at the bottom of a microstructural range, or if it's really aggressive, then look at that last flurry uh, of, um, of volume in the, in the cluster. All right, And uh, you can consider, uh, for entries here, you can consider uh, layering orders in that zone. Okay. Uh, and then if you're fast enough as well, or if you're trading uh, automated strategies, uh, you, can sit, you can consider pack hunting and joining the initiated buying. Okay, our stop order uh, will go below that initiated buying. Okay, so here we go. All right, so um, uh, the um, uh, zone for entry, we're looking for a pullback into this area here. All right, our targets, uh, we're looking for front running that high liquidity up here. We can, this is where we noticed it before, and they're still in the book here. Okay. And uh, we also look and look at, the, this is back into the range, and this is our session range volume profile, and this is the VWAP for it at this time. Okay, so um, uh, that is uh, 
uh, also a, a potential target. All right, so um, now let's uh, continue on here. Uh, and um, uh, then we, we do get a, a move down and it's, it's, um, it's not much. Uh, it's, we, we're looking for that nice pullback into this area, but this is turning into more of kind of like a V bottom uh, reversal. Uh, because uh, we we don't we don't get a pullback to where it broke from here, uh, and uh, instead uh, we do get a, a break of this l little microstructural range here, uh, just by uh, a, a tick here or into this area here, uh, and that is your that would be your aggressive entry. Okay, your potential aggressive aggressive entry here. Okay, for testing the um, uh, below that microstructural range. All right, and uh, uh, then um, we, we actually, uh, we go sideways here for a bit and we actually uh, come back down and we do now get that test uh, into the um, uh, uh, this zone here, okay? So if you uh, were very aggressive, you would have entered some place in here. Uh, and if you're more conservative, waiting for a test uh, back into the, uh, uh, where we broke from, well, we, we, we didn't go all the way to the tick. We came one tick away, uh, but uh, probably this area here would be uh, where you would want to consider uh, your, your potential entry. Okay, and um, let's take a look at the, uh, what's the liquidity telling us here? Okay, we already know what the volume is telling us. So we can see a lot of the uh, uh, initiated buying and um, uh, now we made a higher high with volume trading up here into these levels. Uh, so uh, the volume looks good, uh, but the the, the uh, auction looks pretty good too. Okay, we started to notice them coming into these areas earlier. Okay, with high liquidity, uh, and uh, and they're still uh, here, and they're start, they're starting to add more in. Okay, and we also see them uh, 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 flip the book here uh, potentially, or basically, um, it's uh, it's not the most aggressive flip, but they, they were here on the offer. Uh, and some of that trades and some of it is pulled, um, but then they, uh, they jump in uh, on the bid side, okay? Uh, and uh, our, our first target uh, that, um, uh, that we uh, were front running that high liquidity here at 2421, and that area is hit, okay? Okay, all right, so um, let's uh, zoom out a little bit and take a look here. Uh, how is this, how this is uh, unfolding? Um, this was our, our pullback here and uh, potential entry. Uh, and then here's our target up in this area here. Uh, and um, uh, we actually get uh, another potential entry here. Now you would be scaling in and out of this position because uh, this is a, a reversal that we're looking at. Uh, so um, uh, your potential pullback uh, into this area here. Uh, and then um, uh, we can, uh, that, that, that could be one potential uh, entry, uh, but then there's also another one here, okay, and we're going to go over this strategy, okay, the aggressive entry joining that initiated bind, okay, because we can see here more initiated bind uh, jumps in uh, and, uh, and sweeps the book to the upside here. Okay, so our momentum strategy, okay, so let's say we've scaled out and we're looking to re-enter uh, and uh, uh, take this uh, uh, reversal higher. Okay, so uh, we're above our higher time frame level. Okay, that structure is holding. Uh, the liquidity context, exhaustion at the lower, um, uh, at the low of that range. Okay, they, what about the, um, uh, where are they bidding? They're bidding higher and uh, they're pulling on the offer. Okay, so this is uh, uh, starting to look good for uh, continuation to the upside. Uh, what about the volume? Uh, the um, uh, buying volume cluster at higher higher areas, uh, and then we uh, we see large initiated buy volume at the POC of the microstructural range. Okay, so um, uh, let's go over some of the um, uh, uh, trade execution here. Okay, here's our time and acceptance in this range. Okay, uh, and then uh, your um, uh, aggressive entry here, uh, going with that momentum to the upside. Okay, looks like, uh, you know, we, we covered this uh, yesterday. Uh, we're looking for uh, uh, a lot of initiated buying to pull price up into a higher level. Okay, the structure is holding. 
So you can see we did not come down, back down below the swing here. And we also note that there's some exhaustion in these areas. There was once before, and there is still again. Okay, I mean, there's some trading, but it's not much compared to some of the other areas, and we see a lot more green. Okay, and we start to see them uh, starting to pull some of that liquidity in these areas here too. Okay, so an imbalance in the book, uh, but they're pulling that, and uh, and they're still here on the bid. Okay, in the uh, uh, at these higher areas here. Okay, so um, uh, all right, we uh, the initiated buying pulls right up out of the uh, uh, this this range, and we're going to start to trend into and trade trade into a new range. Uh, and then, uh, so our execution for that strategy, okay? Identify the um, uh, targets of higher liquidity, like before. Uh, you can front run it. Uh, and then um, uh, consider that, that partial, uh, partial profits with the momentum strategy, but we're looking for trend continuation. Okay, uh, we're gonna we we're looking for that initiated buying to uh, trade up into a new range, uh, and then uh, we're looking for that to um, uh, uh, repeat yet again. Okay, um, the entry uh, you you may have to um, uh, be be really quick on this one, or maybe you're trading automated strategies for more advanced uh, traders, uh, but it's, you're looking for an aggressive entry. Okay, so uh, a market buy uh, after after you start to witness the large and it has to be large uh, initiated buying. Okay, where will the stop order go? It'll go below that initiated buying, and you can be pretty aggressive with that because if they if they bought very aggressively, okay, uh, they will continue to buy, and we're looking for a continuation uh, to the upside. Right, so um, uh, you can be pretty aggressive with that stop order, uh, and um, uh, this strategy, this momentum strategy, we're adding already to the uh, reversal that we are looking at. Okay, so this is excellent for that continuation uh, into the current position, uh, scaling into it. Okay, and um, uh, targets. Well, uh, at this point, we we. Um, we're looking at that uh, a target up in, and maybe the higher liquidity up in these areas here, or maybe here. Uh, but like I said, uh, you know, we're uh, we're looking for uh, higher areas, okay? Uh, and um, so you might want to let that run, or maybe consider taking a partial at the top of the range, okay? And um, all right, so uh, great initial move here, uh, as you can see. Uh, and then uh, look at the book flip here, okay? So this is an important move. Okay, we uh, we go above the st the um, structure here, uh, and we see volume, time, and acceptance up in this area, and they flip from the offer to the bid. Okay, and they're bidding higher. Okay, and uh, there's another uh, strategy here. We're going to cover this one because we do not see it here. We do not get it. All right. So this is the third one, uh, and um, uh, we're looking for a pullback to where we broke from here. Okay. And this was an aggressive move, uh, aggressive enough that we did not get it. Okay, and in fact, look at them flip yet again here. They were on the offer here, and they, they flip over to the uh, to the bid side up here, uh, and uh, and we'll, we're looking for that continuation to the upside. Okay, uh, overall, uh, how did this day end? Okay, here here's where we were at um, uh, 20, uh, 24, 22. Just looking at that little uh, that little area here, uh, and looking for that pullback to where we broke from here around uh, 24, 21 and a quarter, and that's what we didn't we didn't get, All right? Uh, and um, you can see that uh, not only did we trade through the uh, high of the cash session, uh, but just with the data that I'm showing here, and this is the extent of my data, uh, we went up to 24, 28, but that for the day we we actually went up to uh, 36 and three quarters. All right, okay. and uh, let's take a look here. Since we've got this in front of us, we can take a look at some of the fractal natures of these markets, okay? Because uh, if you're trading on the higher time frame, okay, we went through a lot of a lot of different um, contextual analysis within the order flow and the order book, right? But uh, if you take a look back uh, and you're trading on those higher time frames, we had our a higher time frame low here. Okay. And uh, we break the structure here, but we're still in like a POC 
uh, or you know at the um, a lower end of the POC of this range here. Okay, this is where that move shifts. Okay, because uh, not only that initiated buying that we see here, okay, and shifts up to the upside and very nice cluster of volume trading up here at a higher area. All right, and um, and that that's where the um, that shift above uh, in volume accepting above. Uh, 2422 and we started to see that there's uh, flips in the book in this area as well uh, looking for that okay sorry about that uh, with that uh, connection loss there um, but um, all right so what we're going over is this uh, kind of a bigger picture here uh, in the um, in, in the structure and this gets into that fractal uh, nature of the markets right within our range bound area here we have the rejection down here and this is the V bottom Okay, very, this is a very, this is a actually more advanced uh, setup to show, uh, and I'm going to show you a, a much easier one right after this, uh, but um, uh, because uh, these are tricky to trade, it's hard to get in and out of these, uh, well, hard to get in uh, a lot of times, uh, because uh, a price moves away very, very quickly, okay, so uh, that's why you may have to be uh, aggressive with some of those entries. Okay. But uh, understanding the context of that auction uh, and the traded volume and within the higher time frame structure is what's uh, essential all right, uh, for, the, uh, for the setup and for the execution. Okay. And uh, I was just going over this. The, um, uh, we just had that five-minute swing here that we uh, had recognized in our higher time frame. But the POC of that area, okay. so it's, it's um, uh, let's see, I'm not in... Um, I'm in a presentation mode, uh, Homera, so I do not have that um, uh, to uh, to show you. But the chart range volume profile, uh, you're going to see, you know, uh, the the kind of like a single distribution here, uh, and then um, the, there's going to be a, a POC of that range, okay, a point of control of this trading range here, okay, and that's what we're looking for: uh, a break above and time and acceptance above, and that's where all of this initiated buying uh, does the trick. Okay, uh, it, it pulls price up into that new level, okay? This is where we're going back and, and reviewing and putting all these pieces together, not only of our structure, but of the um, uh, basic market mechanics, okay? Sweeping of the book. You can see how powerful this is, okay? It looks so simple uh, in part one of the, um, of the course, uh, but you can see how essential it is to understand uh, very very thoroughly these concepts okay because we break out of this area and we have time price and acceptance and volume up into this new area okay all right uh, and um, yeah so uh, uh, we break the uh, the highs of that day and then we get uh, that another another pullback here as you can see and then continuation to the upside all right very very strong move here all right, like I said, hard to get into and, and uh, more advanced um, uh, strategy to show in this reversal. Uh, I'll put together another one for you where we're looking at, um, you know, more of a rounded bottom uh, type of um, uh, trade and uh, you'll see the shift in the order flow, not so dramatic as this, all right, and in the, in the order book as well, okay? Okay. Okay, so the next strategy then, we're going to go for a look at this pullback strategy. This is very simple uh, and um, uh, uh, just a, a great strategy, uh, very high uh, probability here, okay? Set up in context. We're in a trending environment, okay? We're looking for a break of the structure and a sweep of the book to a new level, okay? Liquidity, uh, the context, um, uh, the aggressor trades through an area, uh, through the limit orders, and, and um, they um, uh, it's they're they're absorbed, but uh, they continue to trade through that area. All right, uh, the the aggressors overpower the uh, the limit orders. Okay, and then in terms of volume, you see big volume dots, uh, and then you'll see a cluster of new volume trading outside of the uh, a previous uh, range. Okay, so we're trading at a new level, and what you're looking for in that volume cluster is the correct delta. So if it's a break down outside of a, um, uh, a level, then you're looking for more red than green. Okay, we're looking for uh, aggressive selling. 
Okay. If you see the opposite, well, and it didn't auction quite quite properly, then we're looking for a return back into the range. And I'm going to go over that with another another strategy next time with a reversal. I mean, a um, uh, 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 yeah, trading back into the range, okay, fading the uh, uh, the uh, outside edge, okay, uh, range bound uh, strategy, okay. So um, uh, and then what we're looking here for uh, is uh, on that pullback, we're looking for low volume, okay, into a low volume node in the profile, all right. So let's take a look, all right. So this is, this is um, uh, very very simple. Uh, we can see the 9:30 open here. We're moving down into higher liquidity. Uh, it tests it here, and we trade through it. Okay, some of this is pulled, and some of it traded. Uh, but um, uh, and and why do I say that? Because you know, look at look at the big volume dots that we see down here, uh, and we don't see a lot right here. Okay, so at that last minute, these guys uh, pull, uh, and uh, and we see the right color down here in this new range below uh, this. Uh, uh, 24, uh, 44 area here. Okay, so a lot of red. There's a little bit of green in here, but um, uh, mostly red. So um, uh, the uh, the volume cluster is uh, uh, you know telling us uh, it's indicating. Uh, look for that price discovery and continuation to the downside. Okay, All right. We do get a low volume node uh, or low volume um, uh, pullback. Uh, into an area um, and it starts to exhaust here. Okay, we can also see that uh, that is matching up with the low volume node here in the profile. Okay. All right. Okay, so for this pullback strategy, what about the execution? Okay, identifying targets of higher liquidity uh, and um, uh, consider front running again. All right, uh, by a couple ticks, uh, you want to get that fill. Uh, and uh, if it's if it's continuation and price discovery though, uh, and you are already up, um, uh, and you know you're adding into a position, uh, then uh, maybe you want to, um, uh, you know, even not front run, but uh, continue to uh, move that uh, that target further away. All right, I'm looking for that print, uh, con trend continuation. Okay, so you you can take your your partials, but you can also look for that trend continuation. Okay. Uh, entry on the pullback, um, set limit orders uh, immediately after the break. Okay, we're looking in that low volume node, or maybe front running that low volume node area uh, in the profile, because this is an area where it's going to exhaust. Not much volume is going to trade in this area. Okay, so you might have to be aggressive here, uh, and um, I'll show you what what that looks like in just a minute. Okay, your stop order. Well, there's there's some varieties that uh, you can use here. Or variations, uh, you can you can put it slightly back into the range, or uh, maybe uh, you know the um, uh, it's going to come back up and test the the P POC of that range. Okay, so uh, maybe you want to put it above that. All right, uh, or uh, you can also consider in a partial entry uh, on that pullback, and then uh, at the POC just before it, uh, scale in another uh, another few contracts. Okay, so let me let me show you what I mean. Okay, so here's our um, uh, our break here of the area. Okay, we're targeting uh, the higher areas of liquidity down below here. Okay, we see a little bit of absorption into this area. As you can see, they stay in the book, uh, but then they pull and we trade through. All right, and um, uh, now here's here's our pullback uh, to where we broke from, but it's exhausting up here. Okay, so uh, that's where you want you want to be realistic uh, with uh, setting that limit order, because you want to get filled in the area here where it's going to trade. Okay, uh, chances of getting uh, filled up in this area are going to be a lot lot uh, lot more difficult. Okay, so you might miss that move. Okay, you can be aggressive with the stop uh, if you like, uh, and you can place it just back into the range here. Okay, so the the concept here with that is that um, uh, this is where they uh, started to um, uh, uh, hit the bid pretty hard here. Okay, so uh, it's going to uh, we're either looking for maybe a flip of the book. Uh, in this case, we get complete exhaustion and we have no interest uh, in uh, in sellers in this area here. Okay, on the li on the limit uh, uh, offer, limit orders on the, on the offer. Okay, uh, but uh, we may see that flip. 
Uh, and if you do, that's even it's even better. Okay. Uh, and um, uh, so that, that would be your aggressive stop, but you can also put a more conservative stop uh, above the POC of this range. Okay. And uh, here, here you go, Homera. You can, you can see it here. Okay. All right. So uh, uh, that would be the POC of the range uh, just, just around here. Okay. And, uh, and you, you can see it in the chart as well. I mean, you can see that uh, cluster uh, trades here. We see a little micro sweep of the book and a cluster and range starts to trade here. Well, you know, the POC is probably going to be somewhere right around here. All right. Okay. And um, uh, so you can place your stop up above there. And you can consider uh, with a more conservative uh, entry as well uh, to, uh, to place another order here just below the POC. Okay. It would be right in here, Hamera, somewhere around here. All right. Okay, you'll you'll see it in your profile. All right. So there's a variety of uh, entries uh, and management uh, techniques here. Okay, it's up to you. Okay. All right. And like I said, we'll go over a um, um, uh, you know a um, uh, range bound trade. Uh, to the um, uh, you know fade the uh, outer edges and back trade back into the range uh, because we're going to be looking for the auction to be different there. Okay, uh, in this example here, uh, this is this is what we want to see. Okay, we want to see a lot of aggressive and we want to see it auction correctly here. Okay, they're they're selling and uh, we don't want to be able to question that they're selling. All right. Uh, and uh, that's that's the uh, the insight here. Now we're looking for just um, a lack of um, uh, uh, buying uh, in this area here. Okay, to pull back to where we broke from. Recall our um, um, our, our market mechanics. Okay, what happens when they sweep the book aggressively like this? Okay, a lot of times you get that vacuum of uh, of price. Okay, now the S and P it, it it fills back in pretty quickly, but it it's still holding true here. All right, uh, that um, uh, there's uh, uh, we get a pullback to where we broke from, uh, and then um, uh, there's some buying in this area, but uh, you know compared to the uh, the nice cluster and color of the delta, more aggressive selling at these areas, we're we're starting to anticipate uh, price discovery to the downside. All right, okay, so. Uh, training exercises for part three: mark up your higher time frame levels. Mark up your microstructures within those higher time frame levels. Okay, it's essential here. Okay, just just uh, by following uh, these uh, some of these diagrams um, in the um, uh, in this in this presentation is is um, uh, it's gonna you know it's not gonna help you. I mean, it, it will help some, but it's it's essential to understand the context of the auction and the volume. All right, within that higher time frame and microstructure. Okay, that's what really gives us the clues to what's going on, All right? The rest is mechanical. Uh, you know, we're looking for a, a setup. Uh, we're already going to know how to um, uh, apply that strategy and setup, uh, and then it's just execution. Okay, so um, uh, understanding this context is where uh, uh, the, and variations in these themes of the uh, of the strategy and setup uh, is where uh, uh, you're really going to get the added benefit. Okay, so um, uh, understanding the behavior uh, uh, in the auction, are they adding, are they pulling uh, liquidity, uh, are they are lowering the offer or raising the bid, are they being aggressive, or are they, are they being passive with it, okay, are they starting to pull it away and add maybe on the, uh, on the bid to lower levels, all right, well, that, that's, not, that's showing kind of bearish behavior, right, they don't really want to buy. Okay, so we want to understand the zone of that auction, uh, the, the area, uh, and uh, it gives us a lot of insight. And that's where uh, this um, historical limit order book uh, really shines, okay, being able to use that, uh, that information to our advantage. All right, and then volume, we want to look at our clusters and our volume profiles, okay, and we want to understand uh, the makeup of those clusters, the delta, the um, uh, more aggressive buying or more aggressive selling. Okay. All right, so uh, study the potential strategies you want to incorporate when you start to understand the context of that auction and the volume uh, and structure. 
Okay, and then the setups. Um, uh, it's uh, just apply it uh, and uh, understand the details. All right, uh, that uh, you're going to learn uh, by by the context, and begin uh, to anticipate uh, the future price movement in some of those areas. Okay, so. And for example, uh, th this one's rather straightforward. Okay, uh, you're going to see it again and again. And it happens all the time, right? I mean, I could I, you can make a point that look look at here at the 9:30 open. Here it is again here. Okay, here it is again here in a microstructural uh, pullback as well. Okay, all right. You can make the case for it here as well. Here's another break microstructurally. Okay, uh, we see the break here and we get a pullback here. Okay, so if you want to trade like that, you can. But the uh, the higher probability or the one that uh, stands out as the clearest is this one here. All right, but uh, start to understand the variations in these, and uh, I, I think you'll really benefit from it. Okay, so uh, and then just execute uh, according to that plan. All right, uh, and then uh, repeat this again and again uh, using bookmap bookmaps replay mode is an excellent way. Uh, and uh, you can note the uh, the variations, and this will this is what's going to allow you to really understand it, uh, comprehend it, and digest it, and then uh, enhance your execution. Okay. All right, part four uh, that we're going to uh, go over uh, the advanced applications, and let's preview it a little bit. Um, context of the advanced auction. We're going to start to look at some spoofing, flipping, uh, accumulation of volume, etc. There's going to be a, a lot of different things we're going to look at, uh, and the uh, confluences uh, at these areas. Okay, the same strategies, the same uh, uh, basic uh, uh, market mechanics, uh, and the same uh, uh, analysis of higher time frames. But now we're going to add in these uh, confluences. Okay. We're going to look at the cumulative volume delta, correlated markets, look at our iceberg indicator uh, or hidden orders, uh, larger players where they might be lining up. Uh, and then uh, for um, uh, your uh, execution, uh, you can start to look into some of the API uh, and automated strategies within Bookmap. Okay. All right. So let's go over some of the questions here, uh, and then we'll wrap it up. Okay. How do we distinguish between um, when a higher time frame uh, low will hold or break? Well, uh, we, we went through that, um, SJ, uh, I think in, in detail. I mean, let me know if you still have questions about that. Uh, it was actually it was this was a more advanced uh, uh, example. It was kind of tricky, uh, and and I, I recognize that. But is when we started to see the um, uh, that initiated buying and that structure bro break and the structure hold uh, that um, uh, gave us um, uh, real nice clues. Okay, and then also the higher time frame analysis uh, was uh, essential as well. Okay, understanding that we had a swing to the upside that uh, uh, took out any of the uh, aggressive sellers who were weak. All right, so that's starting. We're starting to anticipate then per potentially the uh, the reversal. All right. Um, okay. Let's see. Okay. Okay, let's see, POC is the, uh, yeah, that is correct, um, uh, Francisco, yeah, yeah, POC and high volume node, well, I mean, for that, for that, um, for that range, yes. Uh, okay, if price goes up in the, um, to the conservative stop loss, uh, wouldn't uh, it break the downside trend line? And then uh, how do we view the market structure? Okay, so are, are you talking about, um, uh, SJ, which one are you talking about? Uh, this one here? Um, 
Okay, looking at our, um, right, okay, yeah. So, uh, and your question is, um, well, no, I mean, um, uh, this this one's actually really you know this one's very straightforward. I mean we 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 can piece together this um, you know very nicely, and we see the exhaustion here uh, into our um, low volume node. Uh, so so this one's very very clean. Uh, but uh, let's let's suppose that uh, you know you start to see maybe a trend line uh, develop here, right? So what we might get. And it depends. Like a lot of times, this is uh, this is such a simple example. Uh, see see how liquidity is starting to come in maybe at this area here. Okay, uh, it's a, a little bit of a. Uh, they, I mean, they were here earlier, but now they're on the on the offer. Well, you know, especially on the, in the initial breakdown, uh, a lot of times you won't it won't break to a new. It will break to a new level, but it'll come back and it will test the uh, uh, POC at that area. Okay, that point of control, and there'll be a battle there, all right. And we want to see if there's uh, still uh, initiated uh, uh, selling at that area. So maybe in this area here, okay. So uh, it, it, you know that's where uh, you you could get a potential uh, pullback, all right. So um, uh, therefore, uh, you know the way that uh, uh, you know, and you you can start to anticipate that, right. But if you start to see the um, uh, uh, you know, maybe a, a shallower uh, a breakdown, uh, and then maybe a, a pullback, and you don't see still you see uh, some exhaustion, uh, maybe back up into that area, uh, and then uh, then you're still you're still uh, anticipating that price movement to the downside, okay? Uh, and um, uh, it's just going to be a, a, a bit more shallow, okay? So 9.55 right here. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, I mean, I, if if we see um, if you see very aggressive um, uh, buying come in here, right? Well, then I, I would start to look at this differently. I mean, I, I would want to see the color of these uh, of these dots. I want to see more green, right? Uh, and I want to see them charge up into here with really big uh, uh, aggressive buys. Okay, if they do that, well, then uh, I, I would just pull that order altogether. Okay. Or I, I might uh, just uh, stop out before my stop loss is even hit. Okay, because if that's the case, then we're looking for a reversal, uh, or we're looking for uh, you know this is going to be range uh, bound area, and uh, potentially a trade to the other side of that range here. Okay. All right. So um, uh, you know this, this you're going to have to study this, and you're going to have to go go through the variations uh, to to understand uh, the context. Uh, and, and this context here is pretty clean, right? So um, uh, anyway, uh, you know, you might get a, a trickle on up here with very little volume, though, uh, up into some of these areas here. And, uh, uh, you know, maybe um, uh, you, you see it initiated selling yet again, okay? Uh, and, uh, you know, that's where uh, you can, um, uh, you know, maybe enter even even more uh, if, you, if you're looking for it, all right? Okay. Yeah, I mean, it really, it's con it's contextual, right? Uh, and the more that you see of this, uh, the the more you're going to know, and the and the better your execution is going to be. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. How do you know if liquidity is going to be absorbed or exhausted? Um. Well, uh, we we um, uh, we don't. I mean, uh, in in this case, uh, they they stayed in the book here, uh, and we we can see that very clearly when we know that, right? And we can see red dots trading into this high liquidity here. Okay, and uh, and it, it, it was this was absorbed here uh, at this point. It was only absorbed, and it only reversed for like a, about a, a point, uh, four ticks or so. Uh, and then it came back and retested those areas, and it was still it was starting to get absorbed, and they pulled, okay? And they pulled, and they're they're down here at this lower level. It looks like they pulled right the last minute here as well, okay? And then they're getting filled down in these areas here, All right? Uh, 
I would, yeah, I would look at the color and uh, of the of the um, the aggressor uh, and um, uh, you know the the size and the and the speed uh, and uh, and how it auctions. Uh, you know that that's why um, uh, we'll go through that um, uh, fade back into the range uh, strategy. But uh, uh, here uh, it auctioned properly, right? And we see aggressive uh, uh, red dots from the get go all the way down. Okay, if we don't get that. Uh, then um, that we have that potential here for not only returning back to it, but uh, uh, we, we might get the fade back into the middle of the range and, and potentially the other side here, okay? Uh, Sadar, you're welcome. Uh, thank you. Thanks for the compliments. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I mean, um, uh, Francisco, understanding those those um, those very basic that we covered on, on part one, uh, uh, market mechanics uh, is uh, uh, you know it's really um, uh, it's really important uh, you know to get good at those uh, because you're gonna this this is this is how the market works uh, and you're gonna see it again and again and again uh, and um, uh, yeah you know look, look at this area here look how look how it auctioned here okay. Uh, we didn't we didn't see um, uh, really a, a charge up here of uh, aggressive buying, right? We started to see it here maybe a little bit, but uh, it it just didn't. Uh, it's only for a couple ticks, and then uh, this is right back to the open, right? And no one wants to take it higher. Okay, so uh, this this I'm looking for a return back to that, and I'm not the only one, right? Look at, look at the high liquidity here. Okay, so uh, someone else had the same idea. Okay. And it looks like they got their they got their wish here, uh, you know, nice little volume cluster around it, uh, but um, uh, that that wasn't enough, right? Sellers still jumped in and took it lower. Yeah, I mean, uh, well, th these guys up here are going to be trapped, and wh where are they going to cover? Well, you know, probably probably down to some of these areas here at the swings, right? If they're really aggressive, they'll be they'll be uh, stopped out, um, uh, maybe here. Uh, and maybe that's that uh, flurry here that we see. Okay, but the aggressors really started to come in uh, here as we broke through that level. All right. All right, guys. Uh, well, let's call it a day. Um, and uh, I'll try to piece together this webinar so uh, it's one uh, complete webinar. But, uh, sorry for the uh, uh, disconnection there. Uh, and, uh, yeah, just uh, you, you see the risk disclaimer on all of these as well. Uh, you, you know, trading equities and um, futures involve substantial risk of loss is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of, of future results. So uh, it's important to uh, uh, get that across so that we're in compliance uh, and uh, uh, there's no wild expectations here, okay? Because we are going over um, uh, some pretty high probability uh, uh, setups, but it is contextual, as you guys are, are noticing, right? Uh, but we can see it, we can see it, and we can read it uh, in the historical limit order book. Okay. All right, guys. Well, let's call it a week, uh, and uh, we will uh, catch up with you um, uh, next uh, uh, next week. All right. Okay. All right, guys. Take care. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.